Thank you all for checking out the channel. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to keep up with all of my shenanigans. No, I'm lobbing him. It's Newsome. I think I'm at my max with this. Is he hit? I don't see. I don't have any visual. Oh no, he's got a dead right. Oh yeah, I got him. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Russ. I am your runner, runner. I'm here with Rampart Ryan. We interrupt this intro to perform a buddy medic on our good buddy Rampart Ryan. Good intro. All right, All right. Oh boy, it's one of these ones. I think there's a lot. I think there's a. Velcro. Oh, is there a Velcro on both sides? I think so. Okay. I like this system. Yeah, I do too. Actually, they put uh, some good thought into this, actually. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes, there's no stupid milk. All right, all right. You good. Do we know where? I kind of want to keep hitting this left flank and come up around it. Keep in mind, we don't want to spawn camp. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to be able to get him. Oh, you bastard. Over there on the left. I don't know if I can hit that far. Oh, he's hit, he's hit, he's hit. Thank you! All right. Well, that was a spawn point, right? Oh, I guess. No, if we kill them, they're going to the gulags. Exactly. So I say we try to keep hitting this left side. I know. Well, we've got people in the bus that are helping us out, too. Yeah. So. Okay. They are leaving now. Okay. Right. He got buddy medic. We are here at Operation Freedom, which is a war, which is a Call of Duty Warzone style game. So for all of you who know that, it's super awesome and uh, kind of fun. Just captured a flag point. All right. Intro finished. <laughs> And now that the intro is finished, let's go over some of the rules here. In this game, there are multiple flag points. There's always a main objective. And there are collectibles scattered across the field, as well as uh, kill cards and coins that you can get off of enemy players. All of this stuff adds up for points for the final part of the game. Derry? Yep. Flagpole on our left. Flagpole? On our left, over there. By the blue, by the blue, to the right of the blue. For spawn point, yeah. There's a flagpole over there. Okay. Come on. Yep, yep. Right here, Rampart Ryan and I get a little bit confused about this flag that was close to the respawn point of the enemy team. We didn't mean to spawn camp, but in order to keep us from spawn camping, the COs were allowed to be invincible and have an area of effect by using an LMG to drive us back. Right. Let's get this before they start coming back from the gulags. Oh shit! Boy, that's in there. Careful. They might be coming out. Alright. Push. Oh, 
Due to the confusion about the flag being next to this spawn point rampart, Ryan kind of got a little heated here. However, he did talk with the admins afterwards and totally understood why the decisions were made what they were made. And Rampart Ryan made peace with the admins like the good sport that he is. I wanted to throw that in here because all of us can get a little heated on the field. And I wanted everyone to know that Rampart Ryan is man enough to go and apologize and make good understanding with the people out there. All right, now I get to wait for my bleed out time because no medic came to help me and wait, what, what's happening? I'm supposed to go to respawn. Wait, what is this? What is this? Where, where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? What are you doing? Guys, I need to know where my friendlies are. Okay, he's a civvy. Well, that was a terrifying event. Apparently, when you bleed out or have no more buddy revives left, you can't just respawn into the game. You have to go give up one of your kill coins and enter the gulag where you have to fight in a 1v1 or up to a 3v3 battle just to get back into the main event. Holy crap. Well... I guess you learn something new every day. Throughout this event, I was popping a lot of shots at a lot of people, but I was not sure if I was hitting them based on all of my companions shooting at them as well. So I didn't want to put in the video my normal hit marker and beep sound to indicate that I did get the other players when I might not have been hitting them. They could have been absolutely getting tagged by my team members. Shooting at those guys a minute ago. All right, there they are. Sorry, having trouble tracking my BBs right now. He's dead. There's a guy dead back there. He's dead. He's dead. Dead men walking, guys. Watch your fire. Hit. I got him. Push, push, push. Watch that spool. Cover me. Cover me. I just captured the center flag. Royster Ryan just captured center flag.
Okay, I'm searching. You good, sir? Already been searched. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, I'm searching. You good, sir? This is my first search. Hey, everybody. This is my first search. Say hi to people. Hello. Yeah, thanks, man. You're awesome, dude. This was a really great end to the first hour of Operation Freedom for me. I got to post up the blue team colors in the center flag as well as I got to search and grab some intel and some kill cards from the people on the enemy team. This was really fun. I still never looked to find any of the collectibles they had around the field though. Apparently there were kill streaks hidden and I had no idea. So let's run back to the CO, hand in my intel and my kill cards. I gotta get back to my CO. I gotta get back to my CO. I can't, man. Hold on, Jack! Hold on! I can for everyone. Uh, Gabe, you haven't said hi to the people on my channel. I, I have not. Uh, yeah. How you doing, peeps? <laughs> Welcome to Operation Freedom. Good rock. All right, guys. That's it for me, man. I gotta, I gotta take a break and hydrate and uh, rest my old ass hip. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Runner Runner Airsoft. I absolutely love being able to get out on the field and share my adventures with you. But I wanted to ask, did you know that I actually do another channel called A Drink With Crazy, where me and my good buddy Matt talk about movies, TV, and video games. Been talking about a lot of video game stuff lately because, well, let's face it, that's the only thing where really anything interesting happens during the apocalypse. So without any further ado, here is a clip from our channel, A Drink With Crazy, and I hope you guys like it, and follow the link down below to go over there and subscribe and ring the notification bell for A Drink With Crazy so you guys can keep up with, well, more of the stuff that I do. See you guys next time. But you know where the game sold me was the title screen. Oh, yeah, after you go through and the con has whooped your ass, thrown you off a bridge, you follow the wind, you have the multiple flashbacks with Lord Shimra. And then, you know, you meet Yuna, you, you ride your what, horse. We're, what, an hour and a half at this point? Something like that. And then you're just you're riding down, the music swells, and Sucker Punch presents and you're just in Ghost this of beautiful, Tsushima. beautiful, you're just yeah. in this beautiful field of white flowers. And what a great present. We actually, I still, we actually uh, have that. We actually started clapping on stream. We yes, we did. We were just like, wow, what That's, a great, that was, what a great and way to title end. intros can set the tone for so much, and that was a great one. Uh, other... Think, the uh, other great ones would be like Assassin's Creed 2. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I know, and I, I think that you're absolutely right there. So let's get into some of it. One of the first things that really, really stood out to me was just the pop in color and just how... No, it is a gorgeous game. It's not the most visually um, technical. It's not an RDR 2. It...